I'm Clara Jessup. I'm from Seattle, Washington. Uh, I go to school in Maine at a school called Bates College, and I'm majoring in environmental studies. It was incredible to meet people from Rainforest Alliance, and I felt so welcome. We have been celebrating the Fall of the Frog Week for several years, and this year we decided to do something different, something that could bring the consumer and the producer together. So today I met Don Miguel and he was really nice and amazing and he took us to his farm. He's very knowledgeable about the land and very aware and he's also very dedicated to the land that you know there's no break from farming, the plants don't take a vacation or anything. Um, so I think just seeing his dedication to his um, crops was really incredible and I learned that he's um, been working with coffee for over 30 years and that it's been passed down through his family and that he hopes to pass it through his family as well um, and seeing that that it's a family business is really incredible. He's showing you uh, what will be a future coffee berry. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yo vivo aquí en Santa María de Ota de toda la vida, este, soy productor de café por cuarta generación en el caso de mi familia y este, asociado con Copa de Ota desde hace 31 años. En el caso de lo que Rey Forest predica, eran costumbres o situaciones que se manejaban hace muchos años por parte de las primeras generaciones que produjeron café. Y no solo produjeron café, sino que comenzaron con el uso del, del, de la tierra. O sea, eran este, situaciones que pretendían preservar Lo que, lo, que, lo que había, preservarlo y mejorarlo, cuidarlo. Rainforest lo que vino a hacer fue a, este, re, re, a traer nuevamente eso y despertarnos la conciencia que teníamos dormida a raíz de la Revolución Verde en función de lo que era el medio ambiente. I think the cooperative's ability to help um, teach these different technical aspects of farming is really important for both the earth and the farmer. Um, and then the, the quality of the beans are higher and the, there, there's a higher production rate. So I think it benefits everyone. So it's really encouraging to see these sustainable practices, you know, firsthand and seeing that people really do care about this. So it gives me a lot of hope and, and um, I hope that it really does, you know, this sustainable mindset takes over the agriculture all over. Um, and it, it encourages me to share what I've learned as well. So I'll definitely think about my experience here and all the work that goes into just a small cup of coffee or one bag of coffee. It's really, really amazing.